what is a storm surge? As Hurricane Irma makes its way up Florida, residents near the coast not only have to worry about wind and rain, but also storm surges. A storm surge is an enormous mound of water that accumulates and is pushed ashore by hurricane winds. About a thousand miles of coastline from Tampa Bay to parts of South Carolina could experience a storm surge. Forecasters warn of a 10 to 15 foot surge in the Naples area and five to eight feet around Tampa. Storm surge watches and warnings are not always included with hurricane alerts because hurricane winds and storm surges don't always occur at the same place or same time. During a storm surge, people should evacuate. For wind warnings, they may stay in place as long as the structure they're in is stable and away from flood risk areas. A storm surge watch is issued when there's a chance of flooding, while a warning is issued when flooding is expected. According to the National Hurricane Center, storm surges are responsible for around half of hurricane deaths since 1970. The National Weather Service only started issuing storm surge alerts this hurricane season. Stay safe out there, folks. Where there's wind. Here's how to prepare for a hurricane evacuation. As Hurricane Irma makes its way towards the eastern U.S., nervous residents are preparing for the worst. In the event of an evacuation, here's what you can do to be prepared. Pack an emergency kit with money, medication, a portable radio, flashlights, and at least three days worth of food and water. Designate a meeting spot with your family in case you are separated. Mobile phones may not work in affected areas. Photograph or scan important documents such as licenses, social security cards, passports, prescriptions, and tax statements. Upload these images online. Store documents in fireproof, watertight containers or bring them with you. Double check that dangerous chemicals like bleach, ammonia, and drain cleaners are securely stored. Move electronics and small appliances up as high as possible. Clear the yard and board up windows. Move or dispose of anything that could become a projectile if left on the ground. Hurricane categories and how they're classified. As Irma barrels towards the US, it's now been upgraded from a tropical storm to a category five hurricane. Yikes. Hurricanes are classified into five categories based on wind speed. Wind speed is measured at a point 33 feet above the ground for one minute. In a category one, wind speeds are between 74 to 95 miles per hour with minor home damage to be expected. With a Category 2 hurricane, wind speeds are between 96 to 110 miles per hour. A Category 3 has wind speeds between 111 to 129 miles per hour and has the potential to cause devastating damage. A Category 4 has wind speeds between 130 and 156 miles per hour. The last is a Category 5, which has wind speeds of 157 miles per hour and over. During a Category 5, there's a high percentage homes can be totally destroyed. With the U.S. still reeling from the effects of Harvey, Hurricane Irma has become one of the strongest Atlantic hurricanes ever. Oh, great. Where will all that water go? Hurricane Harvey has released 14 to 15 trillion gallons of water on top of Houston since last Friday. And although the storm has left the city, the catastrophic flooding continues. Despite being flat and prone to flooding, Houston lacks a high-tech drainage system and relies on slow-moving creeks or streams called bayous to empty its floodwaters. The city's 10 bayous typically flow from west to east before going through the Houston Ship Channel into Galveston Bay in the Gulf of Mexico. The Attics and Barker Reservoirs were built in the 1940s to help contain floodwater, but the Attics has been pushed past capacity and the Barker may soon overflow as well. Given the speed and volume of the rainfall, surface soils become saturated quickly and are soon too full to take in any more water. This is made more difficult by the less absorbent concrete and asphalt that cover the city. Water cannot evaporate quickly either, given Houston's humid climate. And with slowly receding floods already soaking through items and property, the damage may be long lasting. No one currently knows how long it will take for the floods to drain completely, with experts estimating it could take anywhere from a few days to possibly even weeks. Oh, this family will have a fabulous story to tell. A woman who went into labor on Sunday as floodwaters from Hurricane Harvey surrounded her apartment was saved, thanks to a human chain of neighbors and firefighters. 
Soon to be parents, Dr. Andrea and Greg Smith, were trapped inside their apartment by Hurricane Harvey. And during that time, Andrea went into labor. Unable to get help from outside the apartment complex, the Smiths realized they had no option but to prepare for a home birth. The Smiths' neighbors, who were also medical professionals, showed up with medical equipment and supplies after someone called for help. Word traveled until eventually someone whose father lived across from a fire station was able to tell firefighters about the Smiths' situation. As water levels continued to rise, the group decided to move the delivery process to the second floor of the apartment complex. When a large garbage truck was spotted outside, Greg ran out in the rain to ask for help, and that's when, to his amazement, he was told the vehicle was actually there for him and his wife. People quickly clasped hands and formed a human chain to help the laboring Andrea through the waist-high water and into the truck. After settling down in the hospital, the couple were given dry clothes and a real delivery room for Andrea to give birth. And at 1.59 a.m. on Monday, the couple's firstborn, Adriel, was born. The volunteer's brave act was captured by neighbors who lived in the same apartment complex the Smiths live in. And that footage has since gone viral across Facebook and Twitter.